Hi everyone, welcome back to Be Rich. Yes, I'm still in Bangalore, so I'm recording this remotely. Uh, what did I want to talk about today? Today I want to talk about uh, what's happening in ITC. As this, this recording, ITC shares are down by a percent and a half, 1.5 to 2 percent down in the market. And the reason everyone seems to be speculating that uh, as the news broke today morning that uh, British American Tobacco, or it's known as VAT, plans to offload around two to three billion dollars worth of uh, its ITC holding this coming week. This is not through official channels. This is through people who are with private information and they don't want to be identified. And these trades are usually done in um, discounted market prices. That means um, British American Tobacco might offer a price but slightly lower than the market and they'll be done in block deals and trenches. So we can expect this to happen in the next uh, seven to 10 days, I guess, is what the rumor seems to be spreading around. We do not know what is the price band they're looking at. We do not know the target price or the bottom price, which they don't want to go below. And uh, what all the lots are going to be, this is not, that information hasn't come out as yet. But we do expect this information to slowly come to light in the next 7 to 10 days. This is the first lot of 2 to $3 billion worth of ITC shares are going to be liquidated. Do keep in mind, BAT currently holds around 29% of uh, ITC shares and uh, this is according to the data which is available in Bloomberg and uh, since BAT has said that they're going to be doing this their share prices have gone up by two percent because there's been immense pressure on BAT from their investors in UK and in US to do this because of the amount of debt the company is carrying and they want the company to lower its debt and one of the crown jewels like we've spoken earlier for BAT is ITC so how much and how long is this going to be for, we do not know. But do keep in mind, the increase which you're seeing of 2.5% is on the back of uh, a 23% uh, year-on-year back prices are down. So it's really not rebounded to the levels what it used to be a year ago because of all the other problems they've been having in the U.S. as far as the tobacco industry is concerned and their tobacco products are concerned. And all the problems are tied to e-cigarettes and vaping. Like I said in previous videos, and Anand has even said in previous videos, ITC was fortunate to have a visionary leader at the time in 1996 and uh, pivot away from tobacco-centric business and move into other areas. And that has allowed ITC to flourish and to grow into the company that it is today. ITC is not only known for its tobacco, it's known for a fairly wide range of products in FMGC and in hotels so and in paper. So this is the main reason why the two stories of BAT and ITC, like I previously said, has diverged so drastically and so widely. Now, do keep in mind, if you are waiting for an opportunity to buy uh, ITC shares when BAT starts liquidating, till the price band is announced, we really do not know how far the bottom of this market will be. If you have not been investing in ITC and you've been waiting for an opportunity to invest into ITC, then I would say, yes, it is uh, prudent to wait and see what I bad plans to do, what uh, price plan to sell these uh, two to three billion dollars worth of shares. But if you've already been investing in ITC and you're looking at it in the long term, it gives another opportunity for you to pick up some more ITC shares. And uh, when we're talking about market and market news, I also want to talk about today another thing which is uh, very important, which applies to a lot of you new investors. And a lot of you have been asking me about small caps and small cap shares. And Sebi Chappers and um, all the way, uh, Puri Vooch has come out and said there's been irrational exuberance in small and mid cap stocks, and there's indication of froth and a bubble forming, and it's not aligned to fundamental valuations. Me and Anand have been saying this and beating our tom toms about this for quite a long time. And uh, yes, though you'd see here, you recall market so called market analysts telling you there's great opportunity there in small caps and micro caps, and you should be looking at it. Unless you know what you're doing, I strongly advise you against going into this. And this is the exact same reason. Butch also has revealed evidence that there's been price manipulation in the SME segment and indicates, uh, including issues with initial uh, public offerings that have been the IPOs, there have been some price manipulation that's been happening. That basically means prices have been pumped and the valuation been uh, unfounded and they've been dumping it on unknown investors and innocent investors at a higher devaluation than they deserve and promoters and initial investors have been exiting these companies these ipos 
So urging investors to exercise caution and it's a high risk area and a lot of people have lost a lot of money and there's a lot of speculation happening. And SEBI in its process of analyzing the data and patterns related to price manipulation and is considering a public consultation to address malpractices without specifying timeline for action. I can understand why they don't want to put any timeline. They don't want to send fear into the market and people to panic in the market. So they're probably considering this on timelines. Plus elections are also coming around the corner. So that also is into consideration. But capital market regulators aim to implement uh, T plus zero settlement days for securities by 28 March, which is another important thing on an optional basis. So moving forward, instantaneous trade settlements will also improve market efficiencies and uh, price transparencies going forward, which is also good news. So T plus zero means on the day of trade itself, the shares will credit your account. On the day of trade itself, you'll get your money if you're selling. So this is all great news if uh, you're looking at trading and looking for price transparency from the market. So these are the two main things I wanted to strike on today. One was the ITC and what's happening with PAT and the market uh, news coming out that PAT plans to offload $2 to $3 billion worth of ITC shares. That is of interest. And I'm sure a lot of you will be waiting for this. The other was the small cap segment I want to talk about where there seems to be definite bubbles happening in the small and medium cap. Like I said in the previous video, the advantage when you see the market moving irrationally towards one side, it leaves other segments of the markets wide open and undervalued. So there are lots of undervalued options in large cap sector, like I said. And if you're looking at buying for the long term, investing and holding on to these shares for five to 10 years, uh, lots of opportunities in large caps. And some of them are looking very interesting, especially in the pharma and the IT sector. Anand has been talking about specific companies. We've been following his videos. I usually do not mention specific companies. So if you want specific companies, which is thinking for consideration, you can see Anand's videos, the Tamil videos on Money Pechu, where he talks about specific companies. I like to keep it broad and I like to keep it open-ended. And I expect you to do a little bit of homework and see where to buy and see where opportunities are. Those of you who feel like sharing any insight you have regarding large caps, which you think are at value, you can put it down in the comments. I'm sure that people can read it and they can interact with you and see and have a discussion on why they think there's value there or why they may feel there is no value there. So those conversations are interesting. My team does read them. I do read them when they pass it on to me and we will look into those. And if there's any specific company which is worthwhile talking about, we'll definitely take that up and speak about it in greater length in a video. And I hope you found this video informative and entertaining as always. Do keep watching us and do stay safe out there. Bye. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy, send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you. If you want an Amazon Kindle copy, you can click the link below. Finally, those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to berichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for your support. If you like this video, press the subscribe button of my channel, hit the like button and turn on the bell notification.